Hi, welcome to the Full Spectrum. I'm Josh Romero. You know, these days it seems everything's going wireless. First came cell phones, then there was Wi-Fi, and now there's even docks that connect USB devices to your computer, or media players to your HDTV, all without wires. But there's still one wire that's really hard to do without, the power cord. But it may not be that way for long. While it's yet to go mainstream, a few companies have begun experimenting with wireless power, making products that aim to do away with the clutter of power adapters and cords. Uh, it's conductive charging for handheld devices. The four dots are where the conductive charging comes onto the pad. You just come home at night and throw your device on. Charging becomes a background task. The system is compatible with a number of gadgets through a variety of attachments. It also has safety circuits that cut the current if they detect a short. It's very low voltage. The pad itself, if you touch it, drop keys on it, it shuts down. The downside? Wild Charge's pad and adapter for a single device will cost you about 90 bucks. But it's not the only option. A company called Fulton Innovation has taken its solution to the charging problem one step further. So you can imagine e-coupled built into furniture and built into the infrastructure. You hop in your car and you just, you just throw your phone in there and what happens is it charges. Fulton's e-coupled system works through magnetic inductance and it's dynamic making constant adjustments to keep power transfer efficient. We're really the technology out there right now that is doing milliwatts to kilowatts. Even though magnetic inductance gets rid of the wires, it doesn't have much range. We're talking about inches in the z-axis and feet in the x and y-axis. You know, ergonomic spatial freedom, not, not freedom of room spatial freedom. That's why another company called Powercast has turned to radio waves. The breakthrough is the efficiency on the, on, uh, the receive side so that it's a practical amount. Still, long-range transmissions are practical only for devices that require little power. Powercast has also optimized their RF technology for short-range charging of devices. I can just recharge this over and over again by simply putting in that area. You know, it's charging. This is almost like being plugged in. For now, though, the only commercial product to use Powercast technology is a Christmas tree by Philips that wirelessly powers ornaments. For more on putting wireless power to work, check out the article in this month's magazine. For The Full Spectrum, I'm Josh Romero.